This is Twit. Hello, Dave. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Leo. Thanks for taking my call. I really enjoy your show. Oh, thank you for calling. I appreciate it. So um, I, I do have a, a question, kind of two questions about backup. So I, I've taken your advice for years, and I have um, a cloud backup. And Good. I kind of have built-in backups because I have uh, an external hard drive on my, my home desktop, my laptop, and my work desktop. So my, my question is, obviously, with iDrive, it, it all gets, you know, uploaded. But I've been a little behind on updating my other two. I use my laptop mostly for my, you know, everyday use. But I want to make sure that I get uh, the files, mostly audio. And I've, I've spent the last couple of years putting, you know, 3,000 CDs. Um, and, Holy like, moly. How many yeah, gigabytes so have, of music is that? It's. Uh, almost three. Okay. That's, so, you know, uh, that's the nice thing about music. Three gigabytes would be a couple of high def movies, but it's thousands, right. hundreds of thousands of songs. So that's good. Right. Yeah. And then I've also, I've also digitized all of my DVDs. Um, so totally, you know, it's almost five gigs between music and, and cause it's not HD, it's just regular, you know. But I like having, you know, my own kind of Netflix on my Apple TV. Yeah. Um, so how much, how big is your storage? Um, I, I have an 8 gig. Um, well, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah. You mean gigs so, or terabytes? I, I'm sorry, terabytes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Sorry, terabytes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Uh, yeah, yeah. There's two kinds of. There's actually three kinds of backup you should be aware of. There's the image backup, which we sometimes do. I don't. It's not widely used, but when you image a drive, you're kind of freeze drying it with everything, operating system and everything, and that's really mostly used for quick restore. And generally, it's not something I would upload, but just I would keep an. Im for instance, when you first install Windows and then make an image and then you so now you've got an image that's faster than an installer, you just blast it back on and then do the updates install the stuff you want, then make another image. That's the one you're going to use usually. But then, of course, it's out of date the minute you change it. So the next step is a regular backup, which will back up just your data, not Windows or anything else. That's the second kind of backup. And generally, that's done in a big... Yeah, that's done in a big blob. And then there's something, a third thing called incremental backup. When you back up a file, there's an archive bit on the file. It's hidden... But it's something the operating system could say can see. Historically, Windows used that. I think a lot of software doesn't use that anymore to say this has been archived. It's been backed up. You don't you don't have to worry about it anymore. We've got a copy. Uh, in, in effect, that's what incremental backup is doing. It's looking and saying, has this been fully backed up? Is this completely backed up? Yes. I'm going to ignore it. I'm only going to back up the changes. Hence the name incremental. And so the idea in general is to run a regular full backup. And maybe weekly, monthly, depending on, you know, how much data you have. You have so much, you probably don't need to do that. Uh, and then periodically, I would say daily, at least, run an incremental backup, which will only back up changes. And then the restore involves getting the full backup restored and then adding the changes that came in the incremental backup. So have something that's doing it daily, at least. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. The problem, you know, the, the thing to keep in mind is... If my data were to die right now, if I had a, all my data on a Western Digital My Book Live and, it, and I woke up and it were gone, how much would I completely lose? And what you would lose is whatever that happened between the last incremental backup and today. So if you back up daily, it'll never be more than a day. If you back up weekly, it could be as much as six days. If you back up monthly, it could be almost all of the months of changes. So that's why I, I recommend at least a daily incremental backup and incremental backups are quick because you don't do that much in a day even if you right. you know rip four cds that's not going to be you know it's gonna be a few hundred megabytes it's going to go pretty quick this becomes much more important with cloud backup because cloud backup is being is very slow you know this is the thing and we don't mention this in the iDrive thing but it's true of all cloud backup because they don't want to satch. First of all, they're using your upstream bandwidth, which is always lower than your downstream, right? So if you have a hundred megabytes, hundred megabits down and five up, it, can, it at most it could only use five megabits up, but it won't use all of it because it can't. If it did, it would choke your internet connection. So right. it generally uses less than half. 
which means two and a half megabits up, which means it's going to take forever. Sometimes people say, well, I have 100 terabytes and I want to back it up at the cloud. It's going to take years. For, <laughs> right, right. right. So you have to be judicious with cloud backup because you, you, you're really only going to back up the stuff you really care about. Now, once that initial seed, they call it a seed when it's a uh, cloud backup, Once the, that's the full backup. Once that's done, and that's the slowest thing, and that might take weeks or even months, but once that's done, then it always only does incremental to update it. Got it. So, so, and something like iDrive should be automatically doing incremental. In fact, it, a lot of backups like iDrive just watch to see if, did, you know, the file system, did something change? Okay, let's back it up. Yeah, I get that daily um, from iDrive. It's the other, it's the... The, the, the local. The the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. The local backup, yeah. That, um, so is, is there a program um, that, that I can set for incremental... Uh, yeah, there's so, so this is this gets really complicated. So you're going to do inc you want to do local backup. Um, in, I would suggest a synchronization program. So is the backup media always online? Uh, no. No. So there's a program. Are you on Windows? Uh, Mac. Mac. Um, I would. I use a free program, uh, open source, a little finicky not finicky but tricky to use it's very reliable called sync thing s-y-n-c-t-h-i-n-g but it takes some attention to setting it up sync thing runs on all my devices you can also run it on network attached storage it won't run on just a usb drive you need an operating system to run it but what it'll do is it'll look at folders that you want to keep copied of uh, copies of and and it could be you know giant amounts and it will keep them in sync when you're doing this for backup, there's a setting in sync thing that says only uh, don't download changes. F f let's see, you, you, on the, you, you put on the receiving end. Don't don't basically you don't want to sync deletions, and this is true of any synchronization program. If I delete it on my locally, I don't want you to delete it on the synchronization uh, because that would not be a backup. Then that would be like like Dropbox keeping them identical, and you don't want them to be identical. You want them to save everything and never delete anything. So that's why it's a little tricky. There's a program. If you're using a Mac and you're just periodically plugging in this external drive, I think the best uh, tool for that is Super Duper, which okay. is from Shirt Pocket Software. Super duper can be, you can set it up to back up on a schedule, but you can also set it up that when I plug in this drive, back do an incremental backup or do a full backup. Uh, there's a free version. You can also pay for it. It's worth paying for. It's not very expensive. On the Mac, super duper. On Windows, I like a program called Second Copy. Same idea. When I plug in the drive, back it up.